Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at solving a challenging problem, which is actually taken from the University of Cambridge's entrance exam for the engineering course. So let's get straight into it. Tangents are drawn from a point P to a circle of radius 10 centimeters. The center of the circle is C and the distance PC is 20 centimeters. Find the area of the shaded region in square centimeters. So to start this problem, we'll label the two points where the tangent meets the circle as A and B. And then we'll also label in some of the information we're given in the question. So we're given that the radius of the circle is 10 centimetres. So we'll draw in the radii for BC and AC, which are both 10. And we're also told that point PC has length 20. So now we can use some of our circle theorems. We know that the angle between the tangent and the radius of the circle is 90 degrees. So we're labeling angles PBC and angles PAC as right angles. In order to find the area of the shaded region, we're going to find the area of the quadrilateral PACB. And from this, we're going to subtract the area of the sector of the circle, which has endpoints A and B, as I've shown on the diagram here. So we'll start with the area of the quadrilateral. So the area of quadrilateral PACB is equal to the area of triangles PAC plus triangle PBC. And from the diagram, triangles PAC and triangle PBC are both right angle triangles. And since they have the same length of one of their legs and hypotenuse, they must be congruent by hypotenuse leg congruency. So what this means is that the area of triangle PAC is equal to the area of triangle PBC. So this means that we can simplify our expression for the area of quadrilateral PACB as just 2 times the area of triangle PBC. So in order to find the area of this triangle, I'm going to draw it to the side. What we notice in this triangle is that the length of the leg BC is a half of the length of the hypotenuse PC. So this means that it must be a 30-60-90 triangle, because in a 30-60-90 triangle, the ratio of the sides are 1 to 3 to root 2. So this means that the length of side PB divided by the length of side BC is root 3. Or in other words, PB is equal to BC times root 3, which is 10 root 3. So now we can find the area of triangle PBC. This is going to be 10 times 10 root 3 divided by 2. Now these 2s cancel out and we get that the area of the quadrilateral PACB is 100 root 3. So as we noticed, triangle PBC is a 30-60-90 triangle. So this means that angle PCB is 60 degrees and also since triangle PAC is congruent to triangle PBC, angle PCA is also 60 degrees. However, we could just replace this with angle BCA being 120 degrees. And now we can use this to find the area of sector ABC of the circle. This is going to be, firstly, the area of the circle, which has radius 10, so therefore must have area 100 pi, multiplied by 120 over 360, which, simplified a little bit, is 100 pi times a third, or 100 over 3 pi. Now, like we said at the start, the area of the shaded region is the area of quadrilateral PACB minus sector ABC. So the area of the shaded region is 100 root 3, minus 100 over 3 pi. So from this, we can factor out 100 over 3 to get 100 over 3 multiplied by 3 root 3 minus pi centimeters squared. And this is our final answer. So how did you find this question? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it to a friend to see if they can solve it too.